Hi, Quadcopter101 here, and uh, this is the Propel Star Wars Battle Drone app. Um, to enter this app, you need to create an account, and uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. Once you start up this program, it will uh, create. You will go through the process of creating an account. You also need to turn on uh, Bluetooth before starting this app. Okay, once you turn on Bluetooth, it's all kind of self-explanatory. I already made an account. It's the I made a Quadcopter 101 account, and I'm entering into it. Uh, now, one thing is, uh, I am in training right now. I went through. Uh, it shows you how to take off and land and move right, move left, and yaw right and yaw left. And then after that, you get into flight training. And you got to go through flight training before you could actually get into the battle drones portion of this. So I'm still in training, so it's going to take some time to get through training. But uh, right now, I just wanted to include this to show you the app itself. So we're going to hit training right now and go right into flight training. Uh, one thing, I didn't turn on my controller yet. You need to turn on your controller, and here's how. It shows you how. Step one, turn on the controller by pressing the on button. And you hold it down. Good. Oh, yeah. Good. That's, that's good. <laughs> okay, the controller is on. And my controller has sound effects, and so does this app. So you're going to hear sound effects coming from both. So we hit the next button there. And it tells you to bind the controller the same way you'd bind with the quadcopter, moving up and down. Then you hit next. And then it tells you to turn on... Uh, Bluetooth on the controller. Now this controller does have Bluetooth and you activate it by pressing that button there and holding it for two seconds The one it's flashing And I'm doing that on my controller And then after that I hit next And then you hit I turn it on so I'm hitting connect controller and it's looking for the controller And if it doesn't find it I got to press that button one more time Unable, so I'm going to press that button one more time in the upper left there. And hitting connect controller. Looking for controller again. And if it doesn't find this time, I'm going to hit that button while it's... I'm going to hit it again. Connect controller. And, oh, there we go. Device connected. Finally. Is now engaged. So that took me a few tries to get that. Then we hit next. And uh, again, I am in uh, trainer mode still, but you have other options here. If you hit slide to the left, uh, okay, I hit training, play training, goes back to that again. Hold on, folks, sorry about that. I hit the wrong button. But this arrow on the bottom left, the pink arrow on the bottom left, if I hit that, it shows the other modes you could be flying this TIE Fighter. I guess there's a planned TIE Fighter version, uh, and there's also the X Wing version. Okay, I'm sorry. Hit wrong button there. Close that. Let's slide this down here to get out of the way. But hitting the right to get back to the speeder bike. Then we hit select. And by hitting select there, we should go right into training mode here. And there we are. I'm on the launch pad. I'm going to hit the, the takeoff button in the lower left corner of my controller. I'm going to fly this all via the controller. It's connected to this uh, program. And it's a flight simulator program. And... Okay. Eliminate the opposition. I'm not hearing any. Fl oh, there's no sound effects of the the quadcopter flying. I'm wondering why. <laughs> okay, it just flies. Oh yeah, that's right. I have uh, turned off auto takeoff. So let me land it again. I got to manually land it on that pad. We'll do it right. Okay, I'm too far back. Coming up, giving a little more throttle. Coming back and landing it on the pad and then turning off altitude okay now i can do an automatic takeoff that's why i didn't hear that side effect <laughs> i had altitude hold turned off okay let's go to higher rate second rate and fly it around let's bring it up close so you can see the guy no he does this does fly very much like the real thing okay i got altitude hold on and it's flying with altitude hold Let's press a fire button. <laughs> we'll do rolls. Won't us. Oh, yeah, it does. It's Left press. Yes, it is a pressure. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> impressive. Let's do it. Let's do a rapid flyby and then quick stop. Ooh, bounced off that. 
Quick stop. Okay, going up. How high can I go here? Let's find out. Is there a ceiling? Going up higher? Mm -hmm. I guess. I guess that's as high as you can go. It won't go up much higher than that. Coming back down here and in indoor. No Wookies or no. Uh, what are the guys? Ewoks. No Ewoks to be seen. <laughs> so. Again, this is just a quick show of the simulator. Let's go to higher rate. Let's turn off the altitude hold again. Altitude off and go to higher rate. Let's see what it can do here in high rate with. Yeah, there you go. A little more more maneuverable. Actually, the real thing is a little bit more maneuverable than this. <laughs> but not bad. So that's the. Simulator pro program, folks. Again, I really want to get into the battle portion of it, uh, but I gotta, I'm going to need to practice to do that. So, but I just wanted to show you the, uh, the software, the app, the simulator app. I don't know if I landed on the pad or not. Come back a little bit. Yeah, that's close enough. So, hope you enjoyed this review, this quadcopter 101. Let's change that music. Turn up the volume. Systems, systems check complete. Turn up the volume. Change the track. Music shuffle. There we go. Let's fly with this. That adds more excitement than that indoor music. with the simulator program. Not bad. Oh, I hit the wall. Which way am I? Okay, turn to the right. I am. <laughs> so, I hope you like this review. This is Quadcopter 101. I'm trying to come back here. Quadcopter 101. Saturday night. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.